Hello guys, it's Grim Dutch here with another video and today we have another Elite Crew Scroll opening. This time we have 275. Really hope we can get a little bit better of an opening than last time. Last time we didn't got anything with the Elite Crew Scrolls, but nevertheless, let's get into this video. Maybe we can squeeze out some work progression. 275 to open. I'm excited about it. I hope you are too. Let's get into the Elites. We start off with 289k. We can use those rerolls immediately because we don't want 200k and we get 200k nevertheless. But we do get a master as well. Last episode we got 75 masters which was a lot of masters in 250 elites. Very happy about that. We can do a huge stack at the end of the year again I think going to save them up I think I can achieve around 1000 between 1000 and 1500 at the end of the year to do again which would be very very fun of course in the last episode with the masters we got the Orlando's and loads of dice so that was an insane episode also we got the title because we got second age as well that was one of my best openings ever so that was very fun 1616 masters we did in that opening which was a lot of course 4.5 that's one of the better elite crew school rewards we have had in a long time haven't got a broadcast in quite a while but the dice i have to really think about it but i think the last time we got something from elites with a die was the blood tie the blood die in April of 2021 which is a really long time ago 15 months since the last die of course we haven't done that much elite crucibles in the meantime uh, but we did get uh, I think around 1150 k thank you very much 250 to go uh, but we did get around 1000 done so We should have gotten something like a Barrows or anything in that fashion, but we didn't got it, so that is unfortunate. You never know with those elites what you are going to get into. With Hearts it's a little bit more consistent, especially with the broadcast, for me at least. I do get on average a broadcast every like three, four, five hundred Hearts and die at least every 1000. A lot more on average, but in my openings you can expect around one die every 1000 but with the elites it's just all or nothing it seems some openings in the past i got like three dice some of them nothing in like 3000 dragon cane thank you much thank you very much uh, but it's really up there masters is a little bit better usually get something in like two three four hundred Every time, of course, we had that episode with three dice, the third age, the shadow and the barrows in, I think it was 222, 222 masters, so that was absolutely insane. But uh, after that, we haven't got any similar openings. We got the heart opening, heart versus elites, where we got three shadow dice in like 250 hearts which was absolutely insane as well so it's one of my better ones but after that we didn't really get that lucky anymore with those dice it looked like a little bit dried out on those dice after those openings especially with the shadows haven't got much shadows ice dice is on a very low point we got 10 already so the amount is good but nevertheless we have been dry for quite a while so it would be nice to get a little bit back after such a long period of time but we will have to deal with i think one mil average every casket again So I'm really thinking about maybe I'll do little elite or small elite openings again or just save up a huge amount which would take a long amount of time but I really don't want to do like six more of those openings where we get absolutely nothing in 200 instead of one opening of like 1000 or two or 1200. 
Then you have one time the disappointment, and now we have uh, a little bit more than that, the amount of disappointment, so. Because we really don't have any trust in those elites sometimes. Back to back masters and fortunates, that's very good. Almost made 100 mil and we got a dragon cane again. We get a lot of dragon canes though. Don't know how many we got, 33. And I think we got like five in the last two episodes, including this one, 1.4. So we're hitting the tables quite closely, but not close enough, unfortunately, to get the elusive blood die. It's just a die. I haven't got any two days though from 7,000 elites as well, so that would be nice. Those elites are quite relaxing though to, uh, to solve, those are quite similar rewards. They're quite relaxed to solve instead of these hard blue scrolls. These puzzles are... Yeah, they're quite annoying, to be fair, to do that much puzzles, but you get used to them as well, and these steps are quite chilled every time, so you really get used to doing those elites, it's just not that fast than you do hard coach girls, so it takes a little bit more time to get an opening ready and online. The yeah, fortunate components are quite good in this one, so can't really complain about the fortunates. 1.6, 500k, so the base value isn't that bad. Three million, that's a very good one. 1.5. Back to back masters, we have 150 left to go. So I really hope there is a broadcast in one of the 150. It's usually in the last 25, but we'll have to see 300k, another master. Made 136 mil so far. Yeah, that's a little bit above the 1 mil mark, so really can't complain about the total value. It's just what you can expect. You can't expect like 1.5, 1 1.6 1 from uh, from Elite's base value. That's just not going to happen. Another real token. Haven't get, haven't got any Orlando procs yet, which is, um, yeah. What will we say about that? Unfortunate that we haven't got any Orlando procs, but 150 mil made. It's some decent GP, but it's not really what we want. Though 137. I think after this opening, we are going to continue with the elites for a little while because i really really want to get that druidic piece i do want to get that for the title i don't want to switch too hard before that because if i switch too hard then the transition back to elites is brutal most of the time for me so i better stick to elites for a while and then switch back to hearts uh, later on in the year One point six, one point five. The first lender proc, very nice. Let's get that out of the bank. Master, very nice. Get a lot of those fortunate components. I always think 
about the druidic stuff when I see this, but the total value already reveals that it's not any druidic piece, but Another Orlando proc, number two. Last episode we also did get two Orlando procs quite late on in the episode. Godpo, that's the first one of the episode. Haven't hit that table all that much. Another real token, another Orlando proc. Is this something we can build on and get rarer and rarer rewards or 22k that was a 22k reward is that my reward for my efforts on those elites I mean I do feel like we owe you or you owe me a two days die right now this one thank you very much not happening, I think. <laughs> it's not happening. Staff and a penguin staff and a master, very nice, almost 3 mil in that one. Another stuff again, 70 left, 1 million in this one, armadillo pages. Should have reeled that 100k reward, but. There are more around the corner, there's more for that came from, so nevertheless we can reroll something. 1.6, 1 million, 54, it's part of the job, almost 70 masters though, so a really good rate again. Or oh, we get double lucky, I really don't know. One point five, that's a good one. One point eight last fifty almost from the episode. Two hundred and twenty opened already. Haven't got any broadcast, not even a backstep or a sack of effigies. A lot of those fortunes components though. Last fifty, let's go. Really pray there's something in there. Really have zero trust in them to be fair, but really hope there's uh, something in there, even though it would be a barrow's die or something like that. Just a broadcast would be nice after that two episodes before this one where we didn't got anything from those elites. 2 million, 100k, 600k, 132, back to back masters is good. 1.4, back to back masters again, back to back to back masters. left another 50k ish reward which is very very pathetic but 3 million kind of makes up for that we made 236 so far so don't think we are even going to get the 1 million every casket mark in this episode unfortunately Twenty left, one point six, two hundred k. Reel that one into three hundred k. It's an improvement. I'll take it. Last fifteen, one hundred k. Master again, eighty so far, eighty two so far. Ninety six k, guys. Come on, ten left. We did get a blood die last year from the final ten, so it could happen. 87k reroll 104 112 130 uh, 254 I'm going to reel that 
204, thank you very much. 279, a gold bow. Yeah. Okay. Reroll into 100k, 251, and 570. But I do have a couple of more. Got like four left over from the uh, elite, so I will take them out of the bank, open them as well. Because, well, why not start with a clean sheet? I mean, there weren't any broadcast in the stack, so there will be not any broadcast in those four. So let's open those three as well. Another master, 500k, 1.5, and 600. Yeah, why not reroll? Into 800. Just going to reroll. Into 1.6. So that's a good one. No broadcast again in those elite goose girls. Really disappointed. 350. I'm, I'm going to check it right now. How many did we go dry on right now? 350. Yeah, I think like 1000 dry for a die. So it isn't that extreme. But because of the time period. Last time we did a lot of elites was 15 months ago. So because of the time period. It feels like ages. But it's like. 1k elites dry on any die so that's not good that's not bad but we are really dry on druidic though if you can see my clue scroll stats we will see that right now clue scroll stats 7045 elites done zero druidic zero two days die so we can really improve on that but that's for another episode maybe you get lucky then hardcore skulls we do have four from the orlando proc so maybe we can squeeze out some more gp let's see if we can 69k very nice reel into one mil 1.6 and the last one is kind of pathetic let's reel that one into a little bit better we come around a little bit under the one mil average every cost 268 million so we're just short of one mil so it's like 990k on average every elite which isn't the best if you compare it to hearts so if you want to gp go do hearts if you want to win it big and try to get that big boy die do elite push goals but you can also do hearts it really doesn't matter you can do hearts and you can get a little bit more of those master clues and maybe you can get the big boy dies from them it all depends on your preference i do every tier except from easy and mediums to be fair I just switch the cycles, I do elites, then do hearts for a while, then a very big stack of masters, go back to hearts most of the time. But uh, let's see what we can get in the next one. I'm going to do a little bit more elite goose girls and hopefully something in the next one. We'll see about that. Thank you for watching this one. Leave the like if you like this series and don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit the bell icon to not miss any new clue scroll videos and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye